In episode one of the music playlist, I introduced a strategy called the classroom alarm clock, which is a very easy way to make sure things happen in a timely fashion. The example I gave was a chime that played at 1020. And when those three students who need to go to the resource room at 1020 heard the chime, they dismissed themselves. Didn't need a reminder from me. And they arrived on time. Ain't that nice? Now you can use this strategy with a PC or a Mac. Now, if you're using a Mac, I've heard from some people who weren't able to choose a song as the alarm. So I did some research, found out what the problem is, and it's a very simple fix. What we're going to do is we're going to open iTunes. And when you open iTunes, we're going to go to the Preferences for iTunes. And then click on the Advanced tab. And right there in the middle, there's a box you need to check that basically says, yes, iTunes will share music with other applications, which is really what you want to have happen. And then once you've checked that box, you can go ahead and quit iTunes, restart your computer so, so those preferences take effect, and then you should be good to go. So I gotta tell you, having a song play, like one minute before lunch, an alarm kicked in. And it was the, we heard the song called the Funky Lunch Shuffle, 50 seconds long. And my guys knew lunch was coming, which is a good thing for them to know, and time to get yourself organized. So they go back to their seats, organize their desks, and the whole time we're thinking about we're going to lunch and they're feeling pretty good. And when the song was over in 50 seconds, the lunch dismissal bell is going to ring in 10 more seconds. But everybody was cleaned up, ready to go. But that only happened because I had an alarm to play one minute before lunch. Clashing alarm clock. Give it a try. I think you're going to like it. Hey, thanks for watching.